innocence lost, a childhood shattered. This is the story of Pedro Rodriguez, a boy marked by tragedy, who spiraled down a path of unimaginable darkness. We all have defining moments, but for Pedro, these moments were steeped in trauma and loss. A brutal cycle of violence began, twisting his world into a chilling reality. Pedro's story isn't just about the horrific acts he committed, it's a disturbing exploration of a descent into madness. What went wrong? What turned a child into a monster? Join us as we delve into the abyss. We'll uncover the events that fractured Pedro's life, the darkness that consumed him, and the chilling legacy he leaves behind. The troubled life of Pedro Rodriguez is more than a true crime story. It's a cautionary tale, a glimpse into the human psyche gone awry. So, watch closely. But be warned, this journey may leave you unsettled. From ordinary to extraordinary evil. Pedro Rodriguez wasn't your stereotypical villain sprung from the pages of a comic book. He wasn't a hulking brute with a maniacal grin terrorizing the streets. No, Pedro was the quiet kid in class, the one who wouldn't look you in the eye. He was the college student you might pass by without a second glance. Yet beneath that ordinary facade, a darkness festered, a monster waiting to be unleashed. This wasn't a sudden transformation, a Jekyll and Hyde metamorphosis. The seeds of this extraordinary evil were sown much earlier, taking root in the fertile ground of Pedro's troubled upbringing. Describe Pedro's troubled upbringing, broken home, abuse, neglect, etc. These early experiences undoubtedly warped his perception of the world. Perhaps trust became a foreign concept, replaced by a constant sense of suspicion and isolation. The warmth of human connection may have been replaced by a chilling indifference, or worse, a simmering rage. As Pedro entered his teenage years, the mask he wore began to develop cracks. Describe signs of Pedro's developing problems, social isolation, violent tendencies, etc. What some might have dismissed as teenage angst or awkward growing pains were, in fact, early warning signs. The social isolation could have been a retreat into a dark fantasy world, where violence became a way to exert control or express the rage festering within. Perhaps there were instances of animal cruelty, a disturbing fascination with the macabre, or a growing collection of violent video games or movies that blurred the lines between reality and fantasy. These early behavioral changes are crucial pieces in the puzzle, hinting at a darkness slowly taking root, a darkness that most people wouldn't recognize or wouldn't know how to address. Pedro's descent from ordinary to monstrous wasn't a single dramatic event. It was a gradual erosion, a series of choices fueled by a warped worldview and a growing sense of alienation. The world may have seemed like a hostile place, and Pedro, armed with his twisted perception, may have begun to see himself as a victim, or worse, a predator justified in his actions. The line between right and wrong became blurred, replaced by a twisted sense of entitlement or a desperate need for control. By the time Pedro reached college, the monster beneath the surface was no longer a dormant threat. It was a hungry beast waiting to be unleashed. As Pedro entered his teenage years, the cracks in his facade began to show. What some might have dismissed as teenage angst could have been the warning signs of a brewing storm. These early behavioral changes are crucial pieces in the puzzle, hinting at a darkness slowly taking root. A fractured childhood, the seeds of discontent. Pedro Rodriguez's life began in city Brazil, a place with its share of challenges but not necessarily a breeding ground for monsters. However, for Pedro, his childhood home was far from a safe haven. Here, the seeds of discontent were sown, slowly warping his perception of the world and laying the groundwork for the darkness that would eventually consume him. Broken home. If Pedro's parents were divorced, separated, or absent altogether, it could have created a sense of instability and insecurity. He might have felt abandoned, neglected, or caught in the crossfire of parental conflict. Abuse. Physical, emotional, or sexual abuse could have left deep scars on Pedro's psyche. He might have felt unsafe, powerless, and filled with a deep-seated rage that simmered beneath the surface. Neglect. If Pedro's basic needs for love, attention, and security weren't met, it could have led to feelings of isolation, 
and a desperate need for attention, even if that attention came in the form of negative interactions. These early experiences undoubtedly cast a long shadow on Pedro's development. They could have contributed to distrust. Pedro might have learned to distrust everyone, including adults who were supposed to care for him. This could have made it difficult for him to form healthy relationships and could have fueled a sense of paranoia and suspicion. Low self-esteem. A lack of love and support could have eroded Pedro's self-worth. He might have felt like a burden or a failure, leading to a distorted view of himself and the world around him. Anger and resentment. The pain and neglect Pedro endured in his childhood could have festered into a deep-seated anger and resentment. This anger could have manifested in various ways, from social withdrawal to violent outbursts. It's important to remember that these are just potential factors. Every child reacts differently to difficult circumstances. However, by examining Pedro's upbringing, we can start to understand how his early experiences may have contributed to his troubled path. These are the cracks in the foundation, the weaknesses that the darkness exploited as Pedro grew older. A Twisted Legacy The Demise of Pedro Rodriguez We've delved into Pedro Rodriguez's troubled past, the potential triggers that may have nudged him down a dark path. But the story doesn't end there. The question lingers. What became of Pedro Rodriguez, the monster lurking beneath the surface? In a chilling twist of fate, Pedro Rodriguez himself became the victim of violence in March 2023. He was shot and killed outside a family member's home in Sao Paulo. While the details surrounding his death remain murky, the authorities haven't apprehended any suspects. Vengeance served cold. Perhaps someone connected to his past victims, a vengeful family member, or a vigilante took matters into their own hands. A power struggle. Within the PCC, Pedro, despite being incarcerated, remained a powerful figure within the criminal organization, PC. Maybe his death was a result of an internal power struggle within the gang. The true motive behind Pedro's demise may never be fully known. However, his violent end adds another layer of complexity to his already disturbing story. Pedro Rodriguez's life and death raise a chilling question. Are monsters born or are they made? While the answer remains elusive, his story serves as a stark reminder of the potential consequences of a fractured childhood and the darkness that can fester in the human heart. Pedro Rodriguez, once a promising child, became a monster in the making, showcasing the devastating impact of childhood trauma and the urgent necessity for intervention and support. This is the troubled life of Pedro Rodriguez, a cautionary tale of the darkest depths of human nature. We may never have all the answers in the case of Pedro Rodriguez, but by examining his troubled life, we can gain valuable insights into the potential triggers that can lead even seemingly ordinary people down a dark path. If you enjoyed this exploration of a troubled mind, be sure to like and subscribe for more true crime content. Until next time, stay safe out there and remember, the darkness can sometimes lurk in the most unexpected places.